Hello everyone, Mrs Main here and we're in Africa today for the story. The story is called The Lion Who Wanted to Love. Deep in the African heartlands, way out on the hot sunny plains, there lived a small lion who didn't fit in and Leo was this lion's name. Now lions are usually fierce and lions are meant to be strong but Leo just wanted to love everybody and play with his friends all day long. You worry me Leo my darling, his mummy started saying one day. You'll never survive in the animal world if you don't learn how to hunt for your prey. But mummy, said Leo bewildered, I don't think I quite understand. I'm sure there are plenty of lions that hunt who could kill all the beasts in the land. And besides, when I'm close to a zebra, a funny thought goes through my head. Instead of deciding to bite through his skin, I'd much rather hug him instead. I have spoken, said Leo's mum sternly. It's up to you now to decide. But if you insist you're, you're not going to hunt, then there's no place for you in our pride. Poor Leo crept off to the jungle, but hoped that with love in his heart, he would learn how to cope in the animal world, though he didn't quite know where to start. That evening, while Leo was sleeping, he woke to the thunder of hooves, and when he looked up from his lair he could see a whole antelope herd on the move. Some leopards were running beside them, surrounding by, surrounded by thick clouds of dust. Leo thought quickly, he jumped to his feet. I must help them, he cried. Yes, I must. Then he caught sight of two injured young ones who couldn't keep up with the bunch. If he didn't help them to try to escape, the leopards would eat them for lunch. Leo led them away back to safety and gave them some food that they could eat. He licked their wounds clean till they both became strong and he nursed them back onto their feet. The antelope babies kissed Leo and told him, We'll never forget! that you saved our lives when we thought we were dead. You're the loveliest lion we've met. Leo was very excited. His face had lit up with a smile. It's fun making friends in the jungle, he thought. Then he lay down and slept for a while. From that day on, Leo decided to run to each squeal and each cry. He led little hippos to watering holes and he taught baby birds how to fly. He helped a giraffe who was injured and a vulture who'd broken his wing. You see him there. And even though all of his friends gave him food, he never once asked for a thing. Then one day, beside a wide river, Leo heard a small animal scream. He ran to the banks and caught sight of a cheetah being swept very quickly downstream. Please help, cried the cheetah in panic. I haven't yet learned how to swim. The waterfall's going to drown me, I'm sure. With a splash, Leo boldly jumped in. He managed to rescue the cheetah and push him quite safe to the side. But as he was trying to scramble ashore, Leo slipped and got, got caught by the tide. The river was crashing and foaming and Leo let out a loud yelp. The waterfall wasn't too far away now, so the cheetah rushed off to find help. The friends Leo had made in the jungle all raced to the bank straight away. They wanted so much to show Leo their thanks, at last they had now found a way. 
So can you see all of Leo's friends are rushing to the riverbank because they want to show him how grateful they are for being such a lovely lion. They climbed on the rocks, through the rapids, and linked themselves up tail to paw. An elephant wrapped his trunk round a tree, which anchored them safely to shore. And when Leo got to the rapids, a lioness dipped down her head. She lifted him gently across to the bank. You're safe, Leo darling, she said. Can you see who's lifting him out of the water? It's his mummy. <laughs> My son, you're a brave little lion, she spoke in her humblest tone. I was wrong, now I see love can bring us together. Please, Leo, she said, come back home. You've got to be strong to be different. And when you've got love on your side, you've got the most valuable gift that there is. We want you as king of our pride. I hope you like that story. It's one of my favourites. I'll see you soon. Bye.